Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. Welcome on back to more of Encased. And we last left off. We were at the emulator project. We needed to wait until they sent us a message. And now we're going to finally complete this massive quest and see what happens. Senpai, did you know? Henrietta jumps up from her seat. Where have you been? I even sent you a message. Four test runs have been completed under normal conditions. We can get started. Let's do it. Russo presses a button on the console. The doors to the emulator are unlocked. You can go down. I'll start the machine as soon as you get to the launch pad and put on the glasses Abbott gave you. If you feel your life is in danger, halt the session immediately. Okay. So we got the main control. That's interesting. The closer you get to the spinning rotor of the emulator, the stronger the vibration. It's not simply mechanical motion, but something quite different. Invisible but tangible waves of energy are flowing over and through you. The projectors light up above the site, and Russo's voice booms from the speakers. Get ready for emulator launch. Counting down now. Five, four, three, two, one. Her voice explodes in your ears. The world flashes once with an unbearably bright light and drowns. Oh shit, we're doing this again. I don't think I want to go anywhere near that. Might not have a choice. I don't see anybody else in here. See faces again. All right, screw it. Let's run into this. See what happens. Something's oh! Happening. Your next footstep falls in a roar of absolute silence. All sense of space and time vanishes. And you find yourself at an indefinable point in a vast white nothing. There's nothing around you but a fathomless sea of white light. But you don't need to see Maelstrom to know it is nearby. Its quick, intense rhythm reminds you of the feverish beating of a huge heart. The pulsing grows even faster as you touch it in your thoughts. All this space without form or boundaries suddenly unfolds towards you like a giant plane. Like a locator, a dashboard with dozens of buttons ready to launch the exact program you specify. We'll order the Maelstrom to retreat to the center of the dome. Do what nobody expects. Order Maelstrom to expand to the entire dome. Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen. You can always come back and reset things if it's really bad. Maelstrom reacts to your command. This is obviously a suicidal choice, and the terrible consequences follow immediately. A wall of intense heat roars down on you. Beyond the blood pulsating in your ears, you hear the distant shriek of sirens. You're thrown out of the mist with a sharp kick. You fall to the metal floor of the hall, illuminated now by several flashing beacons. Looking back at the observation deck where Russo had been, you see her black silhouette against bright white, beating with her fists on the armored glass in agony. The air in your chest grows hot and heavy. Your physical form pops like a ripe grape squashed underfoot 
And that is where it all ends. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's try this again. Just, Something's happening. Yep. There's nothing around you but a Alright, retreat to the center of the dome. Reacts almost instantly. A sharp burst of energy builds like an avalanche, and you're overwhelmed by a blurry, chaotic wave that just as quickly ebbs again. Normal space and time return all at once, and you, suffocating, struggle in the emptiness, falling to your knees. The white light snaps out. You're back in the main hall of the emulator. Okay, well... There we go. I know what to do next, huh? All right, Rousseau, talk to me, girl. Why isn't my chick coming? Henrietta freezes, phone receiver in hand. Her face is lit up with an expression of pure triumph. They're calling from everywhere, saying that Maelstrom is moving. I don't want to assume anything, but if it really is retreating to the center, then trade routes will be restored soon. Carmine Heights and Phalanx headquarters will no longer be isolated. Russo hangs up the receiver and hugs you tight. I can't believe we made it. If we were in a movie, I'd look deep into your eyes. But since our relationship is strictly platonic... The phone on the table breaks out with a jarring ring. Henrietta picks up the receiver. Project Emulator, Director Russo speaking. Madam Chairman. Yes, they're here. Russo holds out the receiver. Oh Nakamura. shit. She exclaims in a dramatic whisper. It's Greek formally. Respect always gets you a lot further. Oh, how's that? I don't mind if you wish to keep it formal. The cold yet melodic voice sounds slightly sarcastic, but still polite. Nakamura pauses and you hear the subtle click of a button through the receiver. On behalf of the new committee and its official citizen and other inhabitants, I thank you for your conscientious assistance. I'll be waiting for you at the council building in the city. Please be present for the upcoming meeting. Oh, now shit. her voice sounds different. She must have switched to speaker mode. Hmm, okay. How do we get into the city? The chairwoman ignores this. As soon as you finish, she continues to speak. Your service has caught the attention of some who erroneously believe they wield real power. They'll approach you with proposals, which might even seem tempting at first glance. Don't agree to anything, and don't make any deals until we have the chance to speak. I look forward to our next meeting. Best of luck to you. A dial tone sounds from the receiver. Henrietta elegantly shifts her gaze from the phone to you. Welcome to big time politics, eh? Don't get your hopes up. Nakamura isn't a very nice person, but I personally prefer not nice Nakamura over nice dilly dallyers. I don't know what she told you, but you do not want to mess with her. In the heat of the moment, Russo gives you a peck on the cheek. Damn, I still can't believe we pulled it off. You're one smart cookie. Go have a drink. You deserve it. I'll write a message to the Treasury. Those guys owe you a solid bonus. Okay. Oh good, we can get right on in. Alright. Yeah, well, why is she not in my party anymore? Whoop, wrong button. Yoko looks up as you approach. You hear the characteristic scanning sounds, and a green ray quickly runs through your body from... Level of residual psychoradiation. 
average within normal range. Like the fans in the Robo Girl's head start buzzing. She seems to be calculating the rationality of your proposal. Okay, Senpai. We will continue our scientific mission. Yoko squints her eyes. Let's begin our scientific mission, Senpai. Okay, so yeah, I guess she had some kind of a Who's that? Attention, attention. He wasn't in here before. In case of damage, your life oh, hello there. Ah, a bold, smooth man is smoking with obvious delight, gazing up at the ceiling. Although he's wearing the phalanx uniform, his badge sports an emulator logo and reads Harry Delmer Security. Well, I'm getting by however I can. Maelstrom has retreated and they're not paying for tests anymore, so I got a side job with security here. Thank God I can get smokes all the time now. See ya! Okay. I didn't know I was getting paid in the first place. They never gave me anything, I don't think. Again, more people popping up. Okay. So I did ask around a little bit in here. And normally this is completely locked down. You can't get through. But Come on. I would assume if that's the case, you'd go over to um there's a sewer entrance going that way. Hmm. Both Catlin and her uniform have seen better days. An abundance of chevrons, badges, and braid is intended to draw attention away from warm patches, frayed cuffs, and discoloration. Ooh. If you want something to stare at, go to the bar. That's not why I'm here. See ya. All right, it's going to the city. Haven't been here yet. All right. All right, I bet you that's the council chamber. So what's the map on the inner city look like here? So let's see. We've got, yeah, council building. Pharmacy, kitchen, kitchen, door to temple. Kitchen. Uh. Okay. If I'm right, getting into these little things will take you to different parts of the city so you don't have to run everywhere. All right, let's check out the council chambers. Hi there. You see a woman whose suit jacket is or ornamented with the numerous committee patches and a few metal badges. Her face is haughty. You see her name on the patches. Sarah DeWoyce. This is nice about What do you want? It's my time off. Come when I'm in my office. It was nice chatting. Oh. Okay. Well, I wonder if, if it's that easy to get to or I guess we'll find out, won't we? Actually, we do that. Door to council room. Yep. We're going in the right spot. A small, delicate woman turns to you from the picture window where she's standing. In place of her left eye is a yellow bionic prosthetic with a semi-transparent diaphragm. This must be the infamous Kimiko Nakamura. 
She nods, tired and a bit annoyed. Come in. Thank you for your efforts with the emulator. Uh, yeah, Nakamura go. stops you with a gesture. No need. I reviewed your file. You arrived under the dome in September 1976, was sent to Nashville on an urgent mission, and disappeared for two years. You claim you were in stasis. I think amnesia is a more likely explanation, but I can't know for sure. Kimiko points to an unoccupied chair. Sit down, please. Or introduce yourself to the others if there's anyone you don't know. Good, it's start the meeting. Nakamura stands at the head of the table, leaning with her knuckles on the tabletop, and looks the office over. Once everyone is quietly seated, she nods her satisfaction. Let's begin. Nakamura is the first to take the floor. Thank you for coming, everyone. You already know why we are here. Congratulations. The emulator project developed and launched by new committee researchers have yielded fruit and dramatically changed the Maelstrom situation. Ishtwani taps the table with one fingernail. You're intentionally distorting the facts. It's true the project was developed by the new committee, but it would never have launched without Carmine Heights. The chairwoman reluctantly nods. Perhaps. But you must agree that both our cooperation and the project's success were made possible by the new committee's oversight and control of the process. Controlling things is right up your alley. That you can do. Audrey Melville replies mockingly. Kimiko continues. You may disagree with the new committee's role in these matters, but our system for selecting test subjects did lead us to the individual, whose unique peculiarities allowed us to make the emulator a truly functioning system. Nakamura points at you. Let me introduce our employee. Everyone's heads swivel in your direction. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess work for the common good. Everything else, kind of a douchebag. This most neutral and vague answer seems to satisfy well, good. everyone, even Kimiko. Good rep with everybody. Graciously. That means more options. The chairwoman raises a hand. Let's proceed. Maelstrom has shrunk and retreated to the center of the dome. It is, however, too early to claim victory, so the emulator project will advance to phase two. Its purpose is to obtain complete control over Maelstrom and understand whether the entity can either be switched off or somehow used to our advantage. Of course. That second one is always, always with the fucking corporate man. Nakamura looks around the room until her or gaze government. rests on you. Each and every one of you, including this employee, is here because you are still useful to this project. Karma, who's been silent for a long while, abruptly stands from her seat. You intentionally highlighted the employee's abilities. Ishtwani jabs a finger in your direction. I'm still skeptical about this one participating in the project. But if their participation is strictly necessary, I think it's only fair to insist they be used for the emulator's needs only. Will you guarantee this before the council? Ooh. Nakamura's bionic eye twitches, Ooh, its diaphragm shit. contracting with a soft rattle. Kimiko raises her hand again, indicating she's ready to speak. A good point. I understand the importance of maintaining parity. I also understand that any of us could manipulate the project's needs in their party's favor. I cannot prevent this. Therefore, every party has a right to benefit from this employee's help. Oh, crap. That means everybody's going to want shit from us. Nakamura looks at you expectantly. I'm sorry, but you'll have to agree. It's for the good of the project. Oh, boy. Yeah, I want to keep my options as open as possible currently. Chairwoman smiles cold. Again, look at all that all rap. Right. Yeah, yeah. Kimiko looks around the room once again. I believe we're in agreement about future cooperation. This next question I wish to address to each party separately. Nakamura looks at Don. Spencer. Aye. He says curtly, 
puffing on his cigar. The picnic agrees. Audrey interjects cheerfully. Santiago. The chairwoman nods at the church man. Oh, God, it's like everybody we were talking to. The reverend rests wow. a hand on his chest, smiling. Would I throw a wrench in our alliance? I hope my eye will help save all mankind under the dome. Oh, you're like the least trustworthy of everybody there, jackass. Karma thrums on the table with her fingernails. You left me for last, I see. On behalf of Carmine Heights, I vote aye as long as the treaty terms are not violated. Nakamura rests her arms by her sides and performs a curt bow. Then I thank you for your participation. This meeting is adjourned. And you, employee, please see Henrietta Russo for further instructions. Is there anything I can, like, go in here and steal? Yeah. Well, that's if there's anything to steal. Let's see. Plus one to authority. Nothing to hand-to-hand. -to -hand. Initiative, psychonics. Yeah, the whole reason I'm wearing the current, um... Gloves is I found a pair that had tin to tech, so I could upgrade my gun. Ooh, what is that? Encumbrance and, and initiative versus one. Ooh, yeah, we're going to take that. I might put that shit on. And we got worker's helmet. And eh, we'll take it. What else is in here? Wardrobe, huh? Here, oh, big old John. Hmm. Wow, is that all there is here? Bitch, we can't go in there. Oh, hello there. There's a uh, large woman whose badge reads Jenna Jaloke. This is her hand to stop you. Don't approach any closer, Miss Nakamura. That is necessary. It okay. was nice chatting. Curious what I'm doing. I'm looking for a floor hatch. The thing about floor hatches, they get you in weird places. And you never know. Ooh. Or I could just run on in. Shit. Oh, nice. I guess they aren't going to pay attention to us. Cool. Come on, there's got to be some goodies around here somewhere. Tape recorder. A lot of those around. Yeah, we'll take that. Anything else in here? What if this is like her personal quarters? Interesting. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. Rob her kitchen blind and then we'll get her laundry room. All right, what's in your fridge? We'll take it. Eh, yeah, we'll take a coffee. Never hurts. Give me a little boost. have stuff in their long uh, clothes Ouch. 
Huh? Huh? Oh yeah, we're gonna take a bath in there. Screw her. Oh. We drop a deuce. A present for her. All right. It looks like we could go in there. But I don't want to talk to her yet. We're going to head back to... I don't know. Try using this, see what happens. Cause we can't get into the cars. Oh shit, where did it take us? Oh, we're all the way over here now, huh? See, what I'm looking for though is like... Oh, can you get into these things? Um, can I get in? Oh, man. Oh, that looks like trouble there, doesn't it? Interesting, okay. It's a nice building. would like to know what we're dealing with here. See if there's any place to, you know, for weapons and shit. Nope, those are just barracks. There's a pharmacy. What else have we got? It looks like more of the pharmacy. Caravan company. Oh, we might be able to get a job there. All right. Hold on, folks. We're just going to DD back to the person they told us to go see. So, the lady we were working with before. So, hold on. All righty, folks. Well, we'll stop right here. If you want the episodes going too long, it's really easy just to go to thing to thing to thing here. But we'll stop here. And when we come back, we will talk to her. And I guess she'll set us off on a whole nother series of quests. So keep your heads down. Your RPG fun up. And I'll see you again real damn soon.